Hello, my beautiful Cancers. My name is Jennifer from JenniferWalkerZen.com. Here to bring your weekly forecast for November 9th to the 15th. Guys, check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. And of course, if you like a personal reading, go to my website, JenniferWalkerZen.com, or check out the description box below. Guys, remember this is for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. Let's jump right in. So what's going on with my Cancers Romantic Love Life? for November 9th to the 15th. Let's go to my Cancer's Romantic Love Life for November 9th to the 15th. Okay, that feels good. All right. Oh, I'm going to move over to your Oracle first. What's going on with my Cancer's Romantic Love Life for November 9th to the 15th? for number nine. Okay, that feels good. And this is going to be your love interest pile. And on my Cancer's love interest romantic love life for November 9th. What's going on my Cancer's love interest romantic love life for November 9th. What's going on my Cancer's love interest romantic love life for November 9th. Okay, great. I'm going to throw down these cards so we can keep track of the days here. Wow, the cards look really good actually. So let's just see how this plays out. Looks like you're going to get your wish here. So your wish is coming through here, um, Cancer. But you have the energy of like, man, I just want to like see how things are going to play out. I've been waiting around for a while. I've been investing a lot of time in this. And sevens are about analyzing and like getting to the bottom of things like research, you know, analyzing, doing a lot of thinking here with the seven of pentacles energy about long term things. Your love interest of the person you were dealing with, knight of pentacles. Why am I not surprised seeing that, that that's the seven of pentacles? They have the knight of pentacles, which represents someone who is you know, slowing things down, wanting to do a lot of methodical thinking and contemplating about taking an action for some kind of long-term commitment. So slowing things down there. All right, uh, on the 10th, something surrounding travel. So either your love interest is going to travel to you, you're going to travel to your love interest, maybe you're going to travel together. Something to do with travel here on this day on the 10th. And it looks like Potentially someone is sending some messages here with the Eight of Wands energy. So it could be Facebook messages, text messages, any kind of messages here could be coming through. Or it's the energy of someone wanting to move things quickly, all right, and someone's indecisive about it. On the 10th for your love interest, they see you or they see someone as or someone sees them as an ideal situation, having all the tools they need with the Magician card. And on the 11th, Spirit is saying either someone's going to forgive you or you're going to forgive someone else on the 11th. Okay, so it's a lot about forgiveness. And it looks like you have the energy of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. It's like you're using your head over your heart to take a leadership role and make decisions. Um, your love interest on this day is ready to move into calmer waters. They feel like things are challenging, but they feel like they can see the light at the end of the tunnel. They're ready to heal here with the Six of Swords energy. On the 12th, Pay attention to any signs or anything that may come up pertaining to spirit. Okay, keep a dream journal next to your bed. Any kind of messages that may resonate on this day, pay attention to it on the 12th. It looks like there's something surrounding a twin flame soulmate connection or Gemini energy because that's the lover's card. It doesn't have to be a Gemini energy, but a soulmate twin flame connection, a choice towards love going on there on the 12th. And look at that. Your love interest, the person you're dealing with, sees there's some kind of opportunity of true love, op, uh, um, um, potential of love here with the Ace of Cups energy. On the 13th, something to do with work here. It's affecting your romantic love life in some way. And it looks like you have the Queen of Swords energy, so you're telling it like it is. You're speaking your minds here with the Queen of Swords energy. Your love interest, the person you're dealing with, has a Seven of Pentacles. Like they're waiting around. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm being patient. I want to see how things are going to play out here. I invested some time in this. On the 14th, a lot of people are getting reconciliation stuff here. Um, on the 14th, potential reunions with someone from the past. And the Magician card shows me something to do with someone who you may feel is an ideal situation or an ideal partner here with the Magician card, or someone may see you that way, possibly someone from your past there. 
Your love interest, the person you're dealing with, is taking charge of this to be victorious with the chariot card. And on the 15th, spirit is saying to be careful about trust, okay? Or trust and have faith things are going to work out here with the trust card. It does look like you have the Nine of Cups energy, so it looks like your wishes will be fulfilled here with the Nine of Cups energy. And your love interest, the person you're dealing with, feels kind of stuck, stagnant, and they're trying to see things from a new way with the Hangman energy. All right, now I'm anxious to see what's going to go on with your overall here. So bear with me for a second while I clear this out of the way. And grab the other decks here. As you know, I use three decks for the overall. Lenormand slash Tarot, uh, Rider Waite, and Lenormand. Okay, let's jump right in. What's going on my Cancer's Romantic Love Life for November 9th to the 15th? What's going on my Cancer's Romantic Love Life for November 9th to the 15th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, feels good. All right, let me move on to the next one here. We're going to do the right of weight next for the clarifier. What's going on my Cancer's Romantic Love Life? Four, November 9th to the 15th. Answer dramatic love life. Okay, and we're going to do the Lenormand for the next clarifier, and then we're going to right, jump right in. Oh, my cancer dramatic love life. November 9th to the 15th. 15th. Answer love life. November 9th to the 15th. Okay, so currently. It looks like you or the other person is feeling like something's not an equal give and take and you've been patient about it. And why is that? Because someone wants to be right here. Six of Wands energy. Five of Wands, arguments and disputes. Now this is the card of, I want to be right. All right. And this is recognized with the Moon card. So what is the blockage? Okay, so blockage could be immaturity, Page of Swords energy. And worry and anxiety or gaining a new perspective and worrying and, and having worry about it and uh, okay so someone is worried um, possibly about a Gemini Libra Aquarius energy with the page of swords or the fact that someone's being immature and this is making someone worried that they're gonna end something or stop something that's the blockage so what's the foundation Eight of Wands, fast-moving communication that someone's indecisive about or movement or something to do with someone who wants something to move fast that someone's indecisive about. Yep, they're indecisive. There we got the crossroads again. And why is that? Because of something to do with. Now, there could be travel involved with this, with the world card. There could be someone who's foreign from someone else. That could be the hold up here. Or it's because someone was ready to go from one thing to the next. So someone sees someone as potential, they're ready to date them. Someone wants to date someone and someone wants to be engaged. Someone wants to be engaged and someone wants to be married. That's the world card. Going one, completing one level, then going to the next level, you know, winning the game, going to the next level of the game. All right. What happened in the past? Bondage, addiction, depression, procrastination could be a Capricorn energy or something that wasn't quite right. That was known here with the book card about something that wasn't an equal give and take temperance that someone was patient about. What's going on at the head of the matter here? Someone's using their intuition, the high priestess card, because they want some kind of improvement or change here. And they want to take a leap of faith here with the full card. Okay, so what's going to happen in the immediate future? Let's slow this down. Luck is going to be on your side, Cancer. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. So luck is on your side in the immediate future. Whoa, why is that? Because there is potential for long-term commitment here, Cancer. But it looks like you're still going to feel a little worried here. You feel like something's going to be taken away somehow. Okay, so don't worry. Luck is on your side. Okay, I know you're going to feel a little bit of worry here with the Mice card, but don't have worry, okay, about this long-term thing. Luck is on your side. Things are moving in your favor now, okay, in the immediate future. Okay, so in the subconscious, there's a choice being made here. Two of Wands energy about communication. Okay, so it looks like someone's going to make a choice to communicate something about friendship, celebration, or hanging out with the Three of Cups energy. What's the influence? There's some deep, heavy soul searching going on here with this Hermit card about a person. Okay, about a person. 
because there's a defeated energy. Should I stand up and fight or walk away? So someone's really doing some deep, heavy soul searching here about this person and they're like, all right, I'm gonna have to figure out, do I wanna stand up and fight for this or do I wanna walk away? That's the influence here. What's the hopes and fears? Obviously, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, making a wise choice when it comes to love, flow of emotion, something to do with movement here, because fish is our movement, and an action towards your passion, right? Taking an action, an actual action here, moving things along. All right, so what is going to be the outcome here? Hmm, five of wands. Someone's gonna be uh, looking over their choices. Maybe this is you, Cancer. Multiple choices, arguments and disputes. Ah, arguments and disputes because there's delays and challenges. The mountain card. Because someone is feeling hurt or backstabbed here. Oh my God, okay. So the outcome here for you, Cancer, was looking so good here with the luck being on your side in the immediate future, but then going into the future here, someone's still gonna have some arguments and disputes because there's some delays here with the mountain card. And this is hurtful to someone, the Ten of Swords energy. So it looked like things were moving in that favor. So the influence is the problem here. Because of the fact that someone's really doing some deep, heavy soul searching, should I stand up and fight or walk away? This is causing delays here, which is causing the argument and which is hurting somebody, Ten of Swords energy. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, um, I'm just gonna pull a couple more cards just so I can get a little bit deeper on that. I see. Okay, so, yeah, the arguments and disputes because of the fact that someone's waiting around. But there is potential for long term here with the Page of Pentacles. So, and the key card is there, shows their success. There's arguments and disputes because someone's making someone wait. And uh, there's, there's not a happy energy about that. But Page of Pentacles is telling me that there is potential for long term commitment, Page of Pentacles. So you are moving in that direction. There is potential there for it. And the key does tell me that you can be successful, but there, that's the arguments and disputes. So either there's arguments and disputes there, and that's why there's waiting going on, or there's arguments and disputes because there's waiting going on, or someone's looking at their choices. And this is causing uh, the blockage here. They're like kind of looking at their options, or because um, obviously there's some deep, heavy soul searching here about this person about should I stand up and fight or walk away? And then the subconscious, I see the Three of Cups, which represents hanging out or it could be more than one choice. Okay, so this may be causing the delay for the person to wait for their ships to come in, kind of energy. But I do see the Page of Pentacles and that's the ending of that. So that's a positive thing there. It's potential for long-term commitment. All right, so can I have some advice for my Cancer's romantic love life? for November 9th to the 15th. Can I have some advice? My Cancer's Romantic Love Life for November 9th to the 15th. And remember, you don't have to take this advice. You have free will. Can I have some advice for my Cancer's Romantic Love Life for November 9th to the 15th? Okay, let's see what we got here. So it's saying they're saying free yourself. Take back control of your life. You deserve love. So in your situation, Cancer, if this resonates with you and you want to take this advice, Spirit is saying, free yourself. Take back control of your life because you deserve love. All right? All right, my Cancers. I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. Guys, have a great week, okay?